Hello again, this is Wolf, Wolf's SPT, and today we're going to be doing a review of the High Point Pistol. Um, I've owned the 40, the 45 ACP, and the 9mm Luger, so it's going to be an all-in-one review. Uh, I know a lot of guys have reviewed just the 9mm or just some of the others, but I've got experience with most of them, so three quarters of them, so we're going to go ahead and go over all of them. But we'll just use 9mm for our model today. Um, great little gun. Um, I've fired them ex extensively. Uh, just this 9mm, I've put at least 200 rounds through it already. I've only owned it like six months. Um, good little gun. Yes, it's heavy. Yes, it's thick. People say it's not a good concealed carry gun. I disagree. Um, not so if you're going to stuff down the back of your pants without wearing a belt and it's going to stay there. But if you're wearing a belt or you got an inside pocket and a jacket, this is very easily concealable. It is still pretty small. And I got big hands, but still, that's a pretty small firearm. Um, come up close here. Right here, you got your safety. So if you're right handed, that very easily. And in front of the camera. You can actuate that. Um, safety is right here. And it's a good mechanical safety. Um, a lot of safeties, you know, things can go wrong with safety. But now this one, slide will not operate with that safety on. Also, the trigger will not pull. But you know, if nothing else, it's, it can't put a shell in or the next round in because that safety does not allow the slide to move. This also doubles as your slide lock. Show you that. Um, so that's that's the basic operation of the firearm. Um, these are very accurate. Uh, I was out shooting recently with a friend. I had this. He had his Springfield XD 45 ACP. Um, end of the day, they both shot really well. Um, had a few misfeeds with mine, but out of experience with this firearm, I know it was uh, ammunition malfunction. It was just three failure feeds, but like I said, I put 200 through this, and only three failed to feed, and it was out of an ammo I'd never shot before, which was Blazer Brass. Nothing wrong with Blazer Brass, but I'm just telling you guys, that's what it was. So, um, but highly accurate. End of the day, we had we saw our rifle target out at 100 yards. Uh, we were packing up, and I was loading up my magazine for self-defense. I always carry a loaded magazine with me, and I always carry my sidearm with me. Um, had one extra shell left in the box. Figured, what the hey, I'm going to throw this in the gun, pop it off at 100 yards, and see if I can't hit the rifle target with it. Um, I did. Uh, the holdover was about 12 inches to hit it 100 yards, but the target was about the size of a man's torso, the average man's torso. Hit it at 100 yards. Um, confirmed the hit. It was... Pretty much, I mean, it was in the vitals. It was center mass, so it was it would have killed, or at least put him out of service. Um, at 25 yards, accurate. 10 feet, accurate. This gun is just accurate and very, very good. Um, durable, reliable. Um, like I say, I've had out of 200 rounds, three failure feeds. And, you know, a lot of guys will bash these high points. And that that's fine. That's, that's their thing whatever because I know this gun I would take this gun in the combat I would use this gun to defend my life any day of the week um, it's got great sights on it I'll get you a shot of those just these ones this is an early model so it's got fixed sights but the orange really stands out well and they are accurate <coughs> uh, let's see also, High Point, great company, uh, American-made, they're in Ohio. These guns come with an unlimited, transferable lifetime warranty. It goes wrong, you call them, they'll tell you whether or not you need to ship it in, they fix it, no questions asked. And I've heard in some cases, like uh, one guy's review, the firing pin on his had gone bad, they sent him a free magazine back. When, when they set the firearm back. So, that's cool. You get a free magazine for getting your gun fixed for free. Um, sometimes I'll also pick up the shipping. So, like I say, 
great, great warranty. Uh, it beat, it actually beats any other warranty in firearms. Who else can say that? Um, second to these guys, Ruger probably has the best, but these guys beat Ruger out as far as warranty. So thumbs up to them on that one. Very durable. Um, I haven't field tested this myself, but I've watched it done. I've seen you know, people throw these, drive over them with the truck, drag them through the mud, still fired. All the same model, they did all this stuff to it, still fired. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, you try this at home, but they also obstructed the barrel and fired it, and it didn't rupture. Uh, think about these, the reason they're so heavy is they're gas operated, instead of spring operated, they're gas operated, which any of you know anything about firearms, no. That is how your AK-47s and your AR-15s work as well. You fire the round, the gas released is what forces the slide to come back and load the next round. So the slide does have to be heavy to withstand that pressure, um, and that's why they're so heavy. But I actually find function in this. The thing I like about it is when you're trained on a target and you're firing, that extra weight helps bring your, your barrel back down quicker. I get very quick target reacquisition with this firearm. I'm not trying to pull it back down. It's just, it's natural. It's pop, pop, pop. Great gun. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. And I don't have a problem with Beretta or Taurus or Ruger or anything else. I've owned all three of those. Uh, I've also owned a Glock. I've had malfunctions with those. I've had some that were perfect. But all in all, I haven't had any name brand gun quote unquote, that performs any better than this one does. I've had some that were more accurate, but you spend four to six hundred dollars on a firearm, it should be accurate. But these 150 or less, unless you live in an area where everything's more expensive, but I live in Wyoming, cost of living is relatively low. This one, they run about 130 bucks. Uh, come with a magazine, come with a trigger lock, and you're out the door. You're ready to shoot. This will defend your life. And, and I, I trust him to do that solely. I'm actually operating only high points right now. Uh, I sold my Ruger and picked this one up. Actually, I picked this one up. Didn't like my Ruger. I didn't like the accuracy of my Ruger. Sold it. And now I operate only high points. Um, the reason I do this is because... I'm not trying to just arm myself, I'm trying to arm my entire family. And when you're on a budget, $400, $600 fire, or handguns, let just alone handguns, can get pretty pricey if you're trying to arm at least three, if not four out of people out of your family. So it's a good alternative, a very good alternative. Um, there is one recommendation I do make with these, and it's just something I like to do. I don't think it's anything you have to do, but I found, I realized when I bought my wife her C9 9mm, that she could not pull the slide all the way back and, and lock it in place on her own. So what I did was I just went in and did a break-in regimen on it. I pulled the slide back, locked it in place, used the safety. I already showed you that. Took the magazine, loaded it full of rounds. Eight-round magazine on these. Um, if you also have the high-point carbine rifle, they come with 10 rounders. They are said to go in and work just fine in the C9 pistol. But I did both these right here. Loaded the magazine, locked the slide back, put them on top of my closet. Let them sit for a week. After a week, took the gun out, handed it to the wife, put the slide forward. I said, see if we can pull it back and lock it back in place now. And she still couldn't. We gave her a few more days. She could do it. Great. We took it to the range. Fired flawlessly, no problems. First mag we fired was that mag that sat there loaded. All it does is it just breaks in the springs a little bit. It, it breaks them in, cuts some of that tension off the springs, and find that at that point anybody can operate them. Um, <laughs> all my kids have fired this gun. My wife fired this gun. <laughs> I've had friends fire this gun. And like I said, uh, when I went out shooting recently with my friend and he had a Springfield, He'd never fired a high point. He'd only heard the bat about him. And he absolutely loved it. He now wants to get his wife one for her self-defense gun when he's out of town. Absolutely fell in love with it. Um, he was more accurate with it than with the Springfield. 
and didn't mind the weight at all, liked the way the gun functioned, and he absolutely loved it. He now is going to be a high point owner. So I try and sell people on these whenever I can. Um, I'm a big fan. Um, like I say, I've owned lots of firearms and lots of sidearm firearms, and I like this one just as much as I like any of those, but I like the price and the warranty a lot better. But I would recommend doing the break-in regiment. Just lock that slide back for at least a week. Load the magazine for at least a week. And make sure that whoever you or whoever you're going to have firing this primarily can operate it. Then take them to the range. Get them proficient with it. Uh, what else can I say about them? I really don't think there's much else I can say about them. If you do... Well, no, there is something else I can say about them. Um, manufacturer's manual does say on these. These are good for... 1,000, 1,200 rounds. Uh, read donors manual. I don't remember the specific number, but it is at least 1,000 rounds before they recommend clean, or before they say it needs to be cleaned. I clean mine more often, but I'm a nut and I clean guns all the time. So, but they say you can go all all day long without having to clean it. That's uh, really cool. Um, if you do ever want to break it down, lock the slide to the rear, and I'll try and get it so you can see. Well, there's a pin right there. It's a little tap out pin. Use a punch, tap that pin out, then you release the slide. And as you're bringing the slide forward, you just pick up on the back. When it pops up, the slide slides off. There you go. I usually don't do that for cleaning. I'll just do this right here. I'll lock it back, bore brush, throw a swab on it, get the rest of the blackout oil. And it's good to go. So that's all I have to say about the high point pistols. Um, like I say, I highly recommend them. I'd say 8 out of 10. And that's it for this time. This is Wolf, and I'm out.